this is the thing that people are not really, not really considering. Thank God we have Rudy Giuliani to tell us. We can all sit here and laugh like, oh, uh, Donald Trump stole a bunch of documents from the United States government and this has got him into some legal trouble, et cetera, et cetera. But it's all fun and games until someone loses an eye. Play this. You said something before in third world countries and banana republics, they arrest the former uh, opponent all the time. They, they, go, they kill them. They kill them, they Do arrest think, them, they put um, their families Donald in jail. Trump should be in any fear of the deepest of the deep yeah, state should. maybe killing him? I do. Oh, I do. putting him in jail. In many different ways I do. I mean, the amount of hatred generated toward him is the kind of hatred we worry about that would set off a sick person. I agree. I mean, if, if there is anything to the fact that hatred can set off sick people. I agree. There's no one where more hatred has been generated by the mainstream media who do they hate more than Donald Trump? He, they, hate, they display it at uh, Emmy mean, Awards. They Giuliani at, comes uh, up, I think, a pretty close second. And he has a lot less um, yeah. uh, uh, protection, it seems to me. Yeah. I mean, this is, I, I mean, I will say this. At least Giuliani tried to pivot away from the deep state. The deep state. And yes, to stochastic terrorism, which I don't think is as uh, much more stable ground for him. Well, but I think I think the idea of like if you're president, it is quite possible that people are going to come and try and kill you. We've had number numbers, of a those. numbers of examples of that. It's also true if you're a celebrity, right? We've also had examples of that as well. Um, it's a little bit ironic or coincidental maybe that Giuliani understands the concept of spewing hatred towards certain people and it creating maybe uh, unbalanced people you know for instance like let's say you were to say like the FBI is uh, you know being jackbooted thugs yeah. that might inspire some crazy person to go and try and attack the FBI or you, the nail gun. Or you air on a, a cable news network a doctored uh, photo of a judge uh, hanging out with Jeffrey Ep on Jeffrey Epstein's plane. Right, that instance. might inspire like anti-Semites to uh, basically close down a temple for a week where this guy belongs. Or let's say you were to claim that, I don't know, um, a large portion of Mexican immigrants are rapists and murderers that might inspire some hatred towards them it's interesting that giuliani understands that concept but good for him it's for notable. not blaming and part of that is probably because uh a bunch of his friends are uh in the or were in the new york fbi office so one wonders if he's a little bit hesitant to do and, it. And, and the Times is just reporting now that it's being confirmed or that he was told that he is now a target of the Trump election investigation in Georgia. That Giuliani is. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. Well, we're making a sort of uh, on that topic. I've seen some suggestion, and I'm not sure if it's true. Maybe it's just coincidental. But uh, Tucker, Ar Tucker Carlson's absence from Fox News coinciding with the uh, Alex Jones text uh, uh, sort of oh. leak. Some people are suggesting that maybe there's a connection. There. I, I, this time of year, everybody vacation goes on time. vacation. Not everybody, but all those, uh, all, all the, all the talk show hosts do. Incidentally, I'll be going on vacation at the end of this week, just Speaking before <laughs> that my texts to uh, Matt are revealed. 